Rita Louie, and I am with the Retreat Center here at Siena Center, Siena Retreat Center, and I work with a spiritual guidance training program here. Now you might wonder, what is spiritual guidance? Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been really heard? I mean really heard, not just someone being nice, but that they really heard you. They heard your heart. They heard what you were trying to say, maybe even in a stumbling way. And you could feel that it was safe. You could feel you could trust them to really say what was in your heart. No fear of judgment, no shoulds, um, just as it is in you. Well, that's what happens in spiritual guidance. And sometimes when we have the freedom to really talk, to really say what's in our heart that way, it frees us up inside. It frees us up to really hear ourselves and maybe even think more clearly when we're finished. In the beginning, you try it out. You find a guide, and we can help you with that. Um, you find a guide, you have a meeting, you see how it is. You see if it works for you. Sometimes people meet with two or three different guides, even before they select who they want to meet with. And then you have a session, and if it really proves to you, like, this was good, I think I want to do this again, well, then you set up another appointment. And if not, well, you tried it. Um, and you know then whether it is something that you want to keep doing or not. Another question that can come up is, okay, so what do I talk about? Does the guide provide the agenda? Do I provide the agenda? No, it's your time. It's absolutely your time. Your time to see in your heart or in your head what it is that you really want to explore with somebody else who's neutral, somebody who's not a part of your life in another way. We believe that the answers you need are in you. The guide's role is to help you find your answers. Also, some people come to spiritual guidance just because they want to keep on growing in their spiritual life, but they find having a guide helps them be more accountable. They know they're going to be meeting with this person once a month, and it just it's just an extra little bit of, of pressure maybe a good pressure that helps them stay accountable for, for what it is that they want to grow in. So that's just a little bit about spiritual guidance. I hope this has been helpful. And if you want to know more, you can find more on our website.